Hey and welcome back to part 3. This is the final part, so we just need to uh, combine both of the effects together that we made. Um, it's pretty simple to do. So we just want to switch it from the 3D view to the video sequence editor. We can split this window here. And if we hit the checker box here we can turn it into a viewer. Let's just zoom out a little bit. And let's just increase the frames to say that much. Okay, so jump to the first frame, Shift A, and we want to add in our movie clip. And this is going to be the stars, the first one that we made. Scrub through, see how it looks. And okay, so let's just play this through a little bit. And um, we want it to start. Let's go forward a bit more. We want the second movie to start here. So Shift A, add in the tunnel. And we gave it far too many frames, so let's just set the end frame, which is here. So it's actually five more frames than we started with. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is, is blend these two together. So if we press N to bring up the toolbar, or the properties window. Um, also, what we need to do is we need to change the motion of the tunnel. We see how it's coming towards us. Uh, I said in part two that it, you don't, it doesn't matter, so we can change that now. So come down here. Under filter, we check backwards. Now it's actually going to be playing the correct way. Uh, it's a bit choppy, so it's hard to see. Um, but it's, it's moving the right way. Um, also, make sure you always press refresh sequencer down here, especially before you're about to render it. Otherwise, you can get into some trouble with the frames rendering in different orders. <laughs> What we need to do is uh, animate the opacity value for this this movie clip here. So with the top movie clip selected, okay. So with the top movie clip selected, the tunnel clip selected, you want to hit I to add a, um, a keyframe in the opacity, and then let's go to the start of it, and then reduce the opacity to zero. Press I to add a keyframe. So we can see it just starts to appear on after so long, it's just it fades in. Now we can see there's a bit of trouble with the, the lining up of the circles. When the stars comes into a small bunch and it appears, if we look now, if we jump a few frames and we can see that it's not actually lining up. So we can change that, it's not a big deal. So we select the stars and then come over here to image offset. We just check image offset. And now we can just manipulate this value here to make it line up. Yours might already be lined up. My, I think mine messed up with the camera view at the beginning. But don't worry about it, we can, we can always change it. So when you're happy with the positions of it, make sure it looks fine. Now we can see on the borders, um, since I've done the image offset, the borders is now it's missing a piece on the the bottom and the side, but that's okay because I'm going to use it later on. I'm going to uh, zoom in and add a bit of camera shake to the whole image, the whole video. Okay, so now you can change it to H.264 if you want it to be a movie file. Also, make sure you set the output. Jump to the beginning and give it a render. And there you go. So hopefully this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure you give it a like. And uh, thanks for watching.